Today on Vangaru Yuka, this is the story of how I broke my neck. It's just a story because it happened way before I started the YouTube channel, so there's no crashing footage. But a lot of people seem interested in how I broke my neck. So today, I'm going back to the trail where I crashed and show you how it's happened. It was at the end of the riding season in 2016, my third year of riding mountain bike. I was still riding Noko Ranch 2013, my first mountain bike ever. That was the year I rode the biggest rock slab in Skirmish in and out the burger for the first time and started to enjoy hopping 2 cm off the ground. Basically, I was just a beginner intermediate rider, trying to build some strength and earning cake from climbing challenges. I was aware that mountain biking is a dangerous sport. My husband Eric smashed his face just a month after I moved in with him. And also in June 2016, Eric broke his wrist at the Whistler Bike Park and still recovering from the surgery. But I didn't think something was gonna happen to me. It was on Sunday 18 September, around 5.30, I was riding on Mount Seymour, one of the North Shore mountains, with other intermediate riders from NS Flight, the local mountain bike club. In the meantime, Broken Eric was wandering on the street and playing Pokemon Go, waiting for me to finish riding and looking forward to the beer after the ride in the pub. We were riding down Asian Adonis. Back then, I thought this was the one of the flowy trails on the North Shore. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> the rider in front of me was far ahead, so there was no one in front. Oh my god! There were some sections where we could catch some air. Oh, jump! I was having a great time. And junky. Oh my god, slippery! Until suddenly my bike decided to slow me out. Oh. Eh. At first, I wasn't sure what just happened. I successfully tucked, but I rolled into a rock head first. Eh. Oh. Other riders were so concerned about me. But there was no pain in my neck, so I thought I was fine. Mm. Yeah. Eric heard I had a crash and came to pick me up. Can you move your neck? He was also very concerned, and my helmet had a crack. So just in case, he took me to the hospital. I still believed I was fine. Hello, young lady. So can you move your neck? Anyway, he recommended taking an x-ray. While waiting for the result, they put the neck brace on me. And finally, the result came. So according to this x-ray, your neck is broken and you could have been paralyzed. You should definitely quit mountain biking. It's far too dangerous. That was devastating news. So the broken bone was the spinous process of C7. This is the point of attachment for muscles and ligaments. When I tucked my chin and hit the top of my head, those muscles pulled my spinous process so hard that it was broken off in the middle. Luckily, I didn't need a neck brace at all. But unluckily, the bone will never heal. It will always be broken from now on. Actually, there was a pain in my neck. And I was out from work and riding for four months. What I could do was wander on the street with Eric. There were so many people also wandering on the street. When we heard there would be a rare Pokemon showing up in 10 minutes, we all moved together. Like some kind of cult group. 
<laughs> Pokemon Go surely saved our miserable broken days. Breaking neck is a big deal. But after four months of not being able to ride, was I scared of getting back on my bike? The answer was no. That's because I knew why I had a crash. Was it because of my lack of skills? No. That was because of my shock. My shock lost its dumping and wasn't working properly. So when I hopped two centimeters off the ground, I got backed really hard. So it was just like jumping on a pogo stick. And I crashed into a rock with my head first. So that was how I broke my neck. And if you don't want to see Dr. Eric, take good care of your bike. After all, what we do is super dangerous. Ah! This channel is supported by my patrons. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Oh! Wait!